the Arnis or Bhutanan, Kali, whatever, there are principles involved. Now, in Bhutanan, the object, as in Kuntao, is not to be force on force. So if he strikes at me and I put up a block, in practice, what we're doing is giving ourselves a formula to move in, block, check. In reality, this is kindergarten. This is first grade, and this is graduate studies. To practice, if I hit him in the hand two or three times, he won't want to practice with me anymore. So we use the stick as a focal point, so we can practice using the disarms. So in reality, we're not doing sword against sword. We're going sword against hand, sword against elbow, sword against neck. That's the progression. So, when he strikes, I'm coming in, hitting the wrist, closing off the artery so I'm not getting sprayed in the face, and I'm killing him. Then I worry about taking the weapon away. This right here is enough to make him let go because the tendons that hold the arm in have been cut. It's not going to be helped. Okay? If he strikes at me, angle number two. We put our stick up here for practice. This is kindergarten. This is learning to be in the right position. My palm is up because I don't want to have my hand turned over and have him pull back and cut me. If he pulls back here, I can feel it and take advantage of it. Or I can go in and enter. If I'm here already, it's hard for me to get up without having him follow and lifting me up to get that hand. But if I'm here, it's very easy to go there. The stick is there to protect me in case this tries to get through by flicking or critiquing or turning. By making contact, I can feel it. So in actuality, what we're doing is this. Cutting the wrist, checking the, the elbow, and then we're making our strike. If that hand comes into play, the center's covered. So I'm getting both arms at the same time. If I go deeper, it's a puño. So we're progressing from to here to here. But it's never meant to be stick on stick, sword on sword, knife on knife. It's always get in and use it. So the next progression would be going in, getting to here. And striking. So the disarm would be here. And then follow through. Making it into a nutshell, it's boom! And I've got that stick protected by because I've caught the arm and locked it up. Can he pull across? Yeah, but I've still got a catch. I can follow him wherever he goes because I'm not grabbing onto him. I can feel it. If I go like this and he pulls, I've got to follow him. He pulls here, I don't have to follow because I'm not attached. I'm feeling his energy. Discern number three. Again, we start here and monitor the hand for kindergarten. The next move is to raise it up, over, pull, and hit. Now, if this was a sword and I block this like this and I go to grab, I'll be grabbing a blade. You don't want to grab a blade because you're going to get your hand cut. Okay, so the action actually is here. Pass it to a safe area and make your cut. Trap the blade from the backside and use his pull to kill him. So as the defenses go, first one's out here, pull up and pull down. Second one is here, which you actually want to do. Cook, hook, and line up the center one. The last one's here. Now, if this was a sword, I would not do this. But since it's a sword, I'm cutting, and sorry, slashing, and I'm back in a safe area with my arm down so he can't use his stick. It applies the same way you empty hand against one. And catch. Moving in, block, hit, hit, or going straight in. The arm is trapped under my arm. Strike number two. I'm going to go over top and grab. I'm going to go over top and hit. Because I'm occupying this point, 
he can't come in. If he grabs my hand, it's perfect. He just trapped himself, I follow through. If he doesn't use his hand, I've got the ability to come back and catch the weapon because I'm monitoring it the whole way. Disarm number three. I'm not going to catch the blade. I'm going to put it to a safe area, which is over here. I'm hooking. I'm not grabbing. I'm hooking. I follow it in. Break the arm. Take the weapon. Last version of it. Up, over. Big time. Big time. Big time. If he brings a stick up, easy enough for me to cover and still lock him up.